hi today's lesson is on balancing a ledger account so by the end of this video you hopefully will be able to go through the process and balance a ledger account so when balancing a ledger account it firstly it is done at the end of the reporting period and you'll see why as we progress through um, it's a similar process to footing the ledger in that you calculate the balance in the account however it is more formal and the ledgers that we balance are only asset liability or owners equity accounts so you can remember that by the only accounts that we balance are ones that are going to end up in the balance sheet. And balancing your ledger accounts requires a double entry. You'll have to enter a debit and a credit. So let's talk through the process and you'll see all this at work. So basically, the first thing you want to do is add up the total debit and credit side and write down the larger of the two additions that you've done on both sides of the ledger. Then you want to calculate the balance in that ledger account by subtracting that large total you did at step one from the smaller value. And then you want to enter the balance as a correct ledger entry with one debit and one credit to the same ledger account. Probably best shown through an example, so I'm going to talk you through two separate examples. So the first one involves our bank ledger, which is an asset account. And as you can see, we have all these transactions from the month of February. So let's start our balance, sorry, our process of balancing the ledger. So firstly, you want to total the amounts on each side and write the larger of the two amounts at the bottom of both sides. So our debit side equals 25,000 plus 3,650, totaling 28,650, which is the larger amount because the credit side is 10,000 plus 16,000 being 26,000. So what we want to do is write the larger of the two amounts, so the 28,650, on both sides. And what we do is we rule off with a double line under that total to show that that is the end of, of a period. So step two is to calculate the balance. So basically you need to put in the amount that makes our credit side total the our 28,650. So our balancing amount is 2,650. Now step three, you want to do a proper ledger entry. So when we've entered our balance here, we have credited our bank ledger. So to do a proper double entry, we need to also do a corresponding debit entry and we put that below our total line here. So what this is showing is that we have debited the account 2,650 and credited for 2,650. However, we've put our debit entry or our balance has been carried forward to the 1st of March, so the, the following reporting period. So we'll start at the 1st of March with a balance of 2,650 in our bank ledger. So let me show you that same process but with a liability account. So let's have a look at our creditors control. So we have a few transactions this time for the month of June. And as you can see, we've had a balance carried forward from May that's brought us on the 1st of June, our balance is 5,000. So let's talk through that three-step process again. So step one, you want to total the debit side and the credit side, but this time and enter the larger of the two as a total on both sides. So this time, our credit side was larger, totaling 8,500. So we've put our total of 8,500 on the credit side and the debit side. Now, step two, we need to calculate our balance, which this time is 5,500. So if you have a look now that 
our debit side will sum to 8,500. Now we've essentially debited our creditors control, so we need to make sure that's a double entry. So our final step is to balance that ledger entry and carry our new balance forward to the next period. So we're starting 1st of July with a balance in our creditors control account of 5,500. So hopefully that's making a bit more sense now. So just remember that you balance the ledger, the more formal process, you do that at the end of the reporting period. You only do it for balance sheet accounts. So assets, liabilities and owner's equity and make sure you put that double entry in so there's a debit and a credit. Thank you.